Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making bath bombs. I have all my supplies here that I'm going to be using. I got some baking soda, some cornstarch, some citrus acid, some witch hazel. The colors that I'll be using is this blue and this fluorescent pink. I'm going to add some sprinkles and some orange flavoring oil. I have some coconut oil for the skin that I'll be putting in here. I have my measuring cups. It's going to be a cup of the baking soda and the other things will be half of a cup of the dry ingredients. I have my gloves and I have my molds. These are the star ones. I have some of the heart ones and two sizes of the balls. Okay, what we're going to do is get the cup of baking soda. I'm gonna fill this up. Then you're going to get put it pour it in here to get your chunks out. You don't want to have those big chunks in there, so we just want to shift it to get rid of these chunks here. Make sure they're all broken down. Then you're going to do your cornstarch half of a cup. Same thing. Citrus acid, half a cup. This is really fine, so probably didn't have to use the shifter for this. I'm gonna mix that together. The citrus acid is what gives the bubbles to your bath bombs. This gets really dusty, so you might want to wear a face mask. Mix it real well. Make sure all the ingredients are combined. You can even use something to mix it with. You can mix it with your hands, but you can use a whisk if you like to. Make sure you go all the way down to the bottom to get what's at the bottom of the bowl too, to make sure everything is combined together. That should be. Okay, in a separate bowl, I'm going to mix half a teaspoon of the wet ingredients. I'm using the coconut oil and the orange flavoring oil. We're gonna mix that together. Uh oh, that's a little bit too much. Now 
you just want to mix that together. That's the coconut oil in your essential oil to make your bath bomb smell pretty good. Now you want to mix that to your dry ingredients and put mix that together. I'm just still use this end of the plastic knife here to blend that in. You can use your hands if you prefer or a whisk. mixture into another bowl since we're going to be using two colors the pink and blue together make sure you go all the way down to the bottom make sure there's no powder at the bottom of it you want to mix it all together then you want to do the same thing with the blue to the blue. bit at a time until you get your desired color you can even add the liquid dye for bath bombs and soaps just add a little bit at a time so you want have too much of a color that might stain your tub as far as we're going to go with the blue. I don't want to add too much of the blue so it won't stain the tub. Okay, the next step is you want to spritz just a little at a time of your dry ingredient. 
and mix at the same time. You can whisk it or mix it with your hand until like it's a wet sand that you can mold. You can mold into a ball in your hand. Then you know it'll be it's ready. I'm spritzing it with some witch hazel. Some people use water and some people use alcohol, but I was using witch hazel, which is a little bit better for the skin. Pour too much at a time, it's not going to come out right. I was breaking in my hand. You wanted to keep its shape of a ball or some kind of mold that it don't break. shape that you're going to use first I'm going to add sprinkles so I'm going to pour a little bit of the sprinkles in the shape and we're going to get some of the blue here make sure if all uh, your wet ingredients are mixed in do it one more time it in there I'll use the other end and we're going to make sure the pink everything is mixed in the pink and we're going to fill the opposite side with the pink if you want to you can still put the sprinkles on that side too if you want to sprinkles on both sides Make sure you get enough in there. You're gonna press it together. Okay. Press it together, clean off the sides as you go. you're pressing hard enough it should snap just clear off the access so you can get a smooth side going to lift one side I'm going to leave the bottom on for a little while so it can keep its shape and dry like this so I'm gonna place this somewhere flat so it can dry 